Hello, I want to give you some advice for creating effective academic presentation slides. Effective academic presentation slides are slides that help the audience to remember and learn. That's the goal. First of all, use photos. Photos are great, but make sure you're choosing high resolution photos. Those are large photos that you can put and they remain clear no matter how big you put them on the slide. The one on the right is very clear, communicates a clear message. That's your goal. Um, second, use sans serif fonts to make the words easy to read. Serif fonts are, have thin parts and often those thin parts disappear with a projector. If you're using sans serif, which means without thin parts, um, thicker letters, more uniform letters, um, it's, it stays better on the projector, easier for the audience to read. Um, also use high contrast to make the words easy to read. The one on the right is much easier to read because it's a light font against a dark background. The contrast is higher. The one on the left is very difficult. It's low contrast. So check your contrast when you're making slides. Um, again, make, make your font size large. Um, make it as large as you can. It's easier for the audience to read. If you make it small, they're working too hard. It, it's just too much work and they give up. Um, avoid using clip art. Clip art is considered old-fashioned now. It's kind of ugly and if you put clip art into a presentation people wonder why is it there? It's distracting, it's not very effective, often it's too confusing. So use photographs instead. It's easy to find photographs now. Um, use photographs not clip art. Um, if you're going to use photographs avoid photographs with watermarks. Watermarks are um, a photography company has, puts their name on the photograph so that people won't use it without buying it. Um, it tells, tells who really owns the photograph. Um, just avoid using watermarked photography. Um, there's enough other photographs out there. Avoid using cute things. Um, don't put Hello Kitty on your presentation just to make it cute and fun. Um, avoid that, unless you're making a presentation on Hello Kitty, of course. but um, don't just put Hello Kitty and bunnies on your presentation. Um, make sure your images are relevant. Um, guns and crime, baby picture, not relevant. This is much more relevant. Um, it's a big gun. It's, it's connected with the topic. It helps the audience focus on what you're talking about. So make sure your images are relevant. And use as few words as possible. Don't copy your essay onto a slide and try to read it to people. Um, it's terrible. It's boring. Um, also, the people trying to read along with you or read faster than you, and um, it's just a waste of time. Instead, just use photos. Put just some keywords or phrases on, on, the fo on the photo and much more effective slide. You can talk and people listen while, as they look at the photograph. Or how about this one? It's an actual picture of blood. Um, are, are blood types related to personality? Ask the question on the slide and and then people think about the question and listen to what you're talking about. Um, finally, don't use animations or video or sounds merely to entertain. Not to put it, don't put it up to make it cute and entertaining. It's distracting. Um, PowerPoint has lots of fun things like font animations and things like that. Don't do that too much because it just makes people distracted. It doesn't help them to learn or remember. If you're going to do something on clowns, why don't you just use a photograph of a clown? And it's much more powerful, much more effective. Okay, finally, there's the list of things you should do and not do. Um, try to remember these things as you make your academic presentation slides more effective. Thank you.